Peralta, Diaz, this is Inspector Canalsgord and Deputy Inspector Connison. Their flight here was eight hours. It's been a pleasure talking with you about the duration of your flight. Good day. Well, there goes my opening question about how long your flight was. It was eight hours. Yeah, no, I got that. I was joking, sorry, it must have gotten lost in translation. No, we understand you perfectly. Everyone in Sweden speaks English. We also speak Norwegian, Dutch, German, French, Russian, and Finnish. But not Danish. That is a garbage language for garbage people. Yeah. So, now, where's our prisoner? Being processed, but in the meantime, may I offer you some of the finest cuisine in Brooklyn from my favorite restaurant, the food cart outside the precinct. It's really good. Mm, none for certain. He's allergic to lactose, gluten, and tomato ketchup. You guys are real close, huh? In Sweden, we believe for a proper team to function, partners must be completely open with each other. Yeah, we have no secrets, not even our bodies. We saw Una together all the time. Yeah, well, we are also very close. One time, Rosa saw me in my bathing suit. No, I didn't. You told me to turn around. Yeah. Please. They think they're so great just because they know each other's allergies. You know what I'm allergic to? Yep, them. Totally. And also bees. You should know that. If I got stung by a bee, I could die. Detectives, I've been talking with the inspectors. There's been a development in the Shoot Bula Diamant case. Excellent pronunciation, Captain. Doc. They believe our perp may have smuggled more stolen Swedish diamonds into Brooklyn. Oh, well, thank you for the tip. Have a wonderful flight home. We will send you the jewels as soon as we find them. Just staying and working the case with you. Ah, fantastic. Rosa, could you please fill my car with a million bees? OK, since the Swedes are rudely late, let's talk anniversary gift. Should I get Amy something cash, like shot glasses, or something less cash, like Golden shot glasses? Still don't care. How about I get a jump on our new partners and search the perp's apartment? Right. We'll get some clues, solve the case, make them look like fools. They can eat our American dust. No, no. Soren is probably allergic to dust. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, I am allergic to dust. Everyone is. That's what sneezes are. You're what sneezes are. OK. <clears throat> what are you guys doing here? Oh, in Sweden, we call it police work. Perhaps you don't have a word for it? Oh, I do. This is our case. You can't work it without us. Get your weird, hairless fingers off of it. Sutton shaves his fingers for cycling. It cuts down on drag. Agnette is my biggest fanatic, just as I'm a fanatic of her slam poetry. Would you like to hear some? Would I like to? I would hate to. Your loss. Uh-oh, what's this? A little piece of evidence that evaded your bald little hands. A shipping manifest that was shoved into the back of a drawer. Our perp transferred a container to a shipyard in Bay Ridge on October 11th. That arrived over a month ago. I doubt you'll find anything in it. Please, you've got nada. That's right, I speak Spanish. Actually, we've got much more than nada. Damn it, he speaks Spanish, too. Ignata found an invitation to a party tonight at the home of Alvar Gustafsson. The hot blonde guy from True Blood? Huh? No, the Swedish millionaire with ties to organized crime, Alvar Gustafsson. Yeah. Oh, that Alvar Gustafsson. Well, you're welcome to pursue that dead-end lead while we go to the shipping container and find the jewels. And maybe to celebrate, Rosa will wear them to your dumbass party. No, they're priceless. Please do not do that. Yeah, obviously we wouldn't. We were just being jerks. See you later, jerks. Okay. Bye, Jake. Bye, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs>